Hello. Bear with. Wires are tangled. Uh. Oh. Not got the audio set right. Just gonna blow my eardrums. As soon as I uh. Tune to a natural frequency. Basically, when I reboot the stream PC, the uh, Go XLR resets all the volume controls to maximum. Put it this way, that's caught me by surprise more than I'd care to admit. You reboot, well, turn it all the way off and on. If you just do a reboot when the power stays on it, absolutely fine. But if you do a full off and on of the PC, yeah, when it comes back on, it completely resets the volumes back to maximum. And, uh, yeah, it's painful when that happens. Because the Go XLR has a lot of power behind it. Right. So, that's been running all day. Hasn't really expanded the coverage, but um, I think that's pretty much the maximum it's going to do. I think the RTL SDR, from what I can gather, is ever so slightly weaker than the uh, SDR play with the ADSB, but so little in it that it's not even worth worrying about. So I want to have a listen to see if I can find some stuff up on 2 meter band and 70 centimeter band. And then we'll have a play with shortwave. I really want to road, road test the... Um, RTL SDR to see if I can get away with not bothering with an antenna switch to funnel the skanking back through the uh, SDR play. I think if I can just get away with keeping the RTL SDR as my UHF and VHF setup, then that saves me messing around with antennas. I can keep uh, two HF antennas running on the SDR play, and the skanking connected to the uh, RTL SDR. So bit later tonight because I've just come back from a meal. My mother-in-law's down. They're all watching a TV show downstairs together that they have a little WhatsApp group for. It's a quiz show on ITV. I'm, I'm not really into that, but, you know. Let's, let's look at the volume. Let's have a look. I do wish I had more than two men. That's the one thing I do miss about the SDR play. Being able to just give yourself 10 meg to have a look at like the entire 2 meter band. It would be quite useful. I'm going to say about 20 decibel again. That. got be someone on here on a Saturday night. Hello? Oh, wow, hello. Like this beacon is... I'll check that out, 14, 188 in a minute, Tim. Oh, oh well, hello. A whole lot of nothing happening on air band. On air band, two meter band. Right, let's have a look on uh, 70 centimeter. Oh. Yeah, I thought that might be something then. But it's like nothing. Go for a 30 decibel gain on that. Oh, is it? Shouldn't be. Because I'm hitting uh, all the way up to the red on the um, OBS audio thingy. Anybody about? Oh, 
probably have eaten too much as well. It was quite tasty. Went to an American burger place. Basically, there used to be uh, a, a chain of restaurants where I lived called uh, Buddies. And it was uh, basically American themed diner restaurants. And you could get all weird and wonderful burger toppings there. It was great. Uh, there was, I think there was four or five of them, something like that. Um, then a f few years ago, they got bought out by another company. Then they changed their menu up because they realised it was costing too much because there was that much choice. It was a bit too much wasted. And then because they changed their menu up, people stopped going. It was just expensive and nobody uh, wanted to go anymore. Uh, because all the good burgers was going to get. And so what then ended up happening was is the entire chain went out of business. And, um, yeah, we, all the restaurants closed down. Well, <clears throat> the original owner of Buddies, once they, uh, once the restaurants closed down, bought one of the restaurants back and has opened it up again as, it's, it's, it's effectively exactly the same restaurant, just with a different name. Um, it's even still got all of the old Buddies decor in there and everything. Um, so it is, but yeah, and it was, it was actually quite good. Really nice burgers, good value for money. But um, yeah, I think it's the high noise floor on the SDR that's making me a bit quiet. I've done a squelch on for now. It's FM. FM's awful. I hate using narrow FM mode. I prefer AM. AM's just a nice, smooth... Uh, the white noise on AMs is much more pleasant to the ears, I've noticed. Wow, there is the grand total of fuck all going on on 70 centimetres and 2 metres. Honestly thought I would have started seeing the old geezers who... Uh, oh, God. There's a couple of old geezers on the Tring local repeater, and just they're not there. I haven't seen that go live for a while. These are just peaks of nothing. Eh, that's disappointing. Unless it's me with the S unless it's the SDR not picking anything up. Could be that there's nobody there because the SDR's not seeing it. Maybe the uh, SDR play might be better, but I'll mess with antennas later and see what I can find. I don't think it's the antenna though, because that's clearly picking that data beacon up. And there's stuff going on here. And I'll pick these same things up on the SDR play. And this... Yeah, there's nothing about. It's not that late. It's not, it's what, 20 to 10? Surely local nets, if they were going to be active, would be active by now. Wait, click on that. Nothing? Hmm... Bear in mind, I've got quite a few big major cities nearby. Mm, just nothing, is there? That's just very specific noise.
Hmm. That's probably a power supply of some kind. Oh, I ain't got a clue. There appears to be nothing about. <laughs> oh, what's this? Ah. Oh. More nothing. Hmm. Oh, down to HF just to hear people talking, I think. <laughs> yeah. I'll have another check on the two metre just to see. But I really don't think there is anyone here. That looks like that should be something, because it's fucking huge. But it is literally just nothing. Hmm. There's no audio. Hey. Eh? Where's my audio gone? Hmm. Okay, that's bizarre. Try that again. Why? Oh, I must have accidentally hit the mute button on the actual PC. I've never used the keyboard. Well, unless I caught it down there, maybe. I think you just tap it. No, no, I didn't see that come up. Hmm. How odd. Yeah, nothing. I'll, uh... I guess I'll leave that just for I the code and some best, uh... 1090, and then I'll uh, get the SDR play on the go. I'll be testing the RTL SDR, as the stream title fucking says. I mean, we know it can receive ADSB because it's been doing it for ages. Uh, uh. Oh, right, here we go. Just get rid of that, get rid of that. Um. Oh god, I'm tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. Couldn't my watch only got like four hours for some reason. All right, Smeggy. Fourteen one eight eight. Oh, I want the west antenna, don't I? Oh no. Fourteen one eight eight is right in a noise spike. <laughs> oh, there's someone there though. Someone there. Ooh. What's the cool sign, mate? What's the cool sign? That's the other guy, but... <laughs> the United States. Uh, I suspect this got... <laughs> Oof. Beaming towards Africa and I'm getting you in Europe. Thank you. Um, any CX out there? We're looking for 
Lulo Echo 5, Echo Echo. I've seen this one. He's got huge antennas. Yeah, I remember this dude. <laughs> Five fucking hex beams. He's got nine radio towers and his wife's allowing him to put a fucking tenth up. Sad that I remember these QRZ profiles, isn't it? And the fact that he's got a pinball machine says he's not fucking short of a few quid because they're not cheap. I think if you buy a pinball machine now, they're about 10 grand. There you go. Giving him a permission to add a 10th tower. There you go, that's what he's got. That's what he probably looks like from a distance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine fucking radio towers. But then again, uh, it helps that in America, I know a few years ago, you could buy an entire massive plot of land and a nice house for the same kind of price that fucking two bed semi over here costs. <laughs> I mean, the dude has got... Put it this way. If we ever went to war, they'd be going around and confiscating his antennas so they could melt them down for fucking warship metal. <laughs> That's what they did in World War II, weren't it? Any big fucking things made of metal, they used to melt them down, didn't they, to build warships? This guy's got enough metal to build half a warship, I reckon. So that I wouldn't be surprised if half these guys are ex forces anyway, like ex radio engineers in like the army or the navy or whatever. And that guy has got fucking shit ton of antennas, man. But as I said, it's sad that I can I heard his call sign and went, I know that guy, he's got loads of antennas. I've seen him before. I mean look at him. He's tidy there. You know what? He's going by that. That's what a six foot dude, so that's what. Lots of dudes long. That's, that's what I've got to be about 40 feet. Jesus. Ooh. And as you can gather, he's got more fucking radio systems there. I mean, that's, that's huge! Alpha Echo 1 Charlie... You say Alpha Echo 1 Charlie Tango. Oh. 
I mean, it is cool, but I'm able to use one radio to listen in and just leave the other one just clicking away using doing the old flight radar stuff. In all fairness, mate, with the amount of antennas and fucking towers that you've got, I'm a bit disappointed that you're as weak as this. I should be hearing you from the fucking moon at least. If not Mars. Oh, it's coming in. Nice. Twelve hundred watts. There you go. If I do this, I'll wait for him to start speaking again. Come on, hurry up and speak, mate. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, that filling's coming out. Oh, no, that's going to be painful. I need again, just pull the tooth. Yeah, well, I want to listen to this signal. Oh, typically, he's fucking stopped now. I don't... So if I now switch to the other antenna... Oh, he's, he's, he's weaker, but he's there still. Yeah. The big long antenna is great for 20 meters. This is my American guy antenna. I want to get, for me, as I said last night, the Holy Grail would be Australia or New Zealand. I've had one Japanese go on HF. For me, the Holy Grail would be an actual Aussie or uh, a Kiwi. Ooh, that's a good signal from Ohio. If you haven't got an antenna farm, I'll be disappointed, Tom. Let me see if someone is speaking back to him. Yeah. Well, I tried to use the... I tried to look up the 2 metres and 70 centimetre band on the... Uh, RTL SDR and there was just nothing there. It was a bit wank. I am going to say, I'm curious as to how good the HF performance of the RTL SDR V4 is. Because that natively does. Uh, let's go back to this signal. 14195. So we'll remember this dude's signal. And what we'll do is we'll put the west antenna into the S. Uh, oh no, can I? Can I do that? Oh no. Oh no, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can. So I'm just thinking out loud. Um, 14195. So let me get rid of the aeroplanes. We'll bring them back another, a bit later. 14195. I'd be highly doubtful I'd get him on the Scan King. Because Scan King isn't that great at HF. It can do it, but it's not the best. 14195. Uh, 14, 
one nine uh fiver. There we go, and then we hit the play button. You're fucking kidding me, he's there, just faintly. We turn the RF game down a bit. Uh, now I'm going to then just as an experiment, I am going to put the west antenna. Actually, I'm going to put both the HF antennas directly into the RTL SDR here. Let me just remove them from the SDR play. It's not going to be happy about it. And then I'm going to put them. Oh Christ, if I can get the bloody SMA connector undone from the RTL SDR, that's a bit tight. Doesn't help if I've got a completely screwed up wrist. I think I've got a repetitive strain injury from, uh, well, I haven't been out playing my bass guitar in about the last two months. You know what? This signal's actually coming in quite well on the RTL SDR V4. I would say there's not much difference between them. As I said, the only problem with the RTL SDR I find is you get ghost signals. I mean, that one's fucking really strong. Turn the gain up. There's a, I found there's a trick with the RTL SDR gain. So when he starts speaking, I will increase the gain. Right. I'm looking at the uh, signal and noise. I think that's the signal and noise meter on the right. There's a certain level that you get it up to, but then if you go past it, it goes back down again. So in this case, I'd say it's around 22 decibel gain. That's actually not bad for HF performance, you know. Yeah, I say 22 is a sweet spot for this one. The only other thing I do wish this Air Spy software had, it's obviously got the band plan at the top there, and it might have it, I probably just don't know where it is, but I would like, like on the SDR play, a quick shortcut button to just put me in that band. without having to remember what frequency it is. Do you know what I mean? Bye -bye. So you got the band plan, but all it gives you is just where it is. There's no quick access to it. This guy's signal is actually really good on me. I don't know what's better now, the SDR play or the RTL SDR at HF, because they're both very similar. <laughs> you 
this RTL SDR V4 is not a bad piece of equipment. For 25 quid, you cannot go wrong. And I got it from the official RTL SDR Play store on AliExpress. Free shipping, it arrived in just over a week, and I would highly recommend it to anyone. 25 quid, and you're, you're laughing. And the RTL SDR does work on Android as well. The only downside is it's not as plug in and play as the SDR Play. The SDR Play gives you proper driver packages which you start to install and then it goes now plug in your SDR Play and it's as it's as smooth as anything whereas the SDR RTL SDR V4 uh, you have to sort of manually copy DLL files to certain apps to get them to work. And that is where, if you're not a bit of a computer nerd, you would sort of maybe, you know, struggle a bit. It's not as plug and play. And obviously, you've got the ghost signals that appear in different parts of the band. But, overall, it's a great piece of equipment. A great starter point for SDR, to be honest with you. As I said yesterday... I can see where the extra cost of the SDR Play RSP1A is because of all the extra filters that it's got. The fact that on the SDR Play software I can click a button and it just it notches out medium wave and FM for me. And it's got a notch for DAB as well which will clear all that down. And then it's got bandpass filters and all of that. And you can view 10 megahertz at once, whereas the RTL SDR is limited to 3.2. And if realistically, if you go over 2.56, um, it has problems from what I can gather. So being out of 10 megahertz is quite useful. But then again, the SDR Play RSP1A is four times nearly five times more expensive well it's four and a half times more expensive than the RTL SDR this is actually not bad on but the V4 is the one you need to get the V3 I wouldn't touch because the V4 does HF natively without having to have a load of up converters and shit being put on it I get loads. There is someone here as well. You know what, that's quite impressive. Have I got... the 17 meters there, something's there. That's probably an FT8 broadcast or something. Or just a noise. Oh, hello! <laughs> Oh, many thanks for coming again, my brother. Thanks for the first contact in 2024. Next to you, you see your family, too, as well.
73 and good luck. Thanks for coming again. Have a blessed year for me and you. 73. Up and Victor A Alpha Lima. I suspect that's Brazil. Up and Victor A Alpha Lima. It is. I've had this guy before. It's the Brazilian I've had. He loves this frequency. Check this shit out. Amazon rainforest. Big fucking antenna. You know, we'll chop some trees down. We'll put some metal trees up instead. Right. So what frequency is this dude on? 18145. We shall see now, Lem, if the SDR play is better. 18145. We shall remember that frequency. And we shall go back to it with the SDR play. 18145. Eighteen one four five. Eighteen one four five. Eighteen one four five. There it is. It's uh Yeah, the auto gain is fantastic on this. Yeah, the West Antenna. Without that West Antenna, I wouldn't be getting half the contacts I'm getting now. That's pretty good, that is. I'm quite happy with that signal. Hey, Smiggy, can you get 18145 up a side bam? And Tim in hot, in the Netherlands, can you get 18145? Let me check the web, SDR. These guys will probably have it. Yeah, they've got him. They've got him. They've got him. About as strong as I've got him though. Not how Barney's getting him. Oh wow. What are you using as an antenna, Smeggy? Oh, you've got him. Is he quite strong for you or is he quite weak like he is for me? Oh, Barney ain't getting him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell? Right 
Oh, Barney's not got him on the... His DAB is broken, it makes me laugh. Because it sounds like chipmunks. <laughs> no, maybe it's just Bedford radio that I like. Oh, you got interference, have you? See, I'm quite tidy here. Yeah, Smiggy, what uh, antenna are you using out of curiosity, then? Tim, what are you using? God, S9 plus 5, Jesus. I'm like S5 at the moment. I presume you were on a, you were on a wire, weren't you, Tim? You're not using the Malahites inbuilt whip, are you? If I go to the east antenna, barely get him. Oh, you know, he can get him a bit better, but he's much better on the west. How long's your wire out of curiosity? So I get this signal better on the 42 meter piece of wire, the west antenna. Let me fire up the aeroplanes. May as well put the uh, RTL SDR to good use. I want to know what. Yeah, have a look. I'm 1090. Huh. It loads up too quick. I can't see all the game settings. Oh, yeah, that's the same length as uh, East Antenna, then. wonder what sort of what causing all your noise issues. I want to see. Yeah, start test. Oh, yeah, that pink weight's quite good now. Skyscan V1300. Oh, never heard of that one. I'm looking at it. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> 900 down. Sorry, I keep testing it because it's new. New and shiny. I'm ho I'm actually I'd be interested to see if the upload on this causes the stream to start. Oh, 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 will it, will it, will it? No. A train charging station. Man, that sucks. Yeah, I've got enough of an upload now that... Running the speed test don't cause my screen to drop. Right, so Skyscan V1300. Oh, you got disco now. Nice, nice, nice. many thanks for Oh, it discontinued that. How do you find the disco now? Uh, how odd. How do you find the, the um, disco handles the uh, wind? I am... Um 
Senhor ZBX, etapa Victor, Eita Alfa Lima, que sua pé. See, I've got one of these, I have. Oh, no. First of all, bloody... There we go. I have a Sigma Eurocom Stanking SE1500. Basically just a vertical with uh, some ground planes on it. Wow, two to three. That's mad. The 20 meters can have an S, S23 and 17 meters is S9 plus 5 as a noise floor. But yeah, I was looking at the um, disco uh, back in the day. Uh, there's a new one that does uh, 20... Uh, which one is it? Moonraker do it. But people say it's not very good in the wind. Um, it's really bad. Uh, so basically people were saying in the wind, the um, little... Ah. Yeah, they were saying, so this one was the one I was looking at, 0.5, so 500 kilohertz to 2,000. Uh, mine is 500 kilohertz, yeah, just about, to 1,500, my vertical. But, gets yeah, decent reviews in terms of reception, but people were saying, literally, the minute the wind gets up, you find all of those radials all in your front garden. And then someone was saying... So I put Loctite on them, and it, yeah, brilliant, they stay attached. But now the antenna, whenever the wind gets up, makes a horrible noise so loud that the guy has to wear earplugs in bed. We had to take the fucking thing down. Where was it? Where is it? Um... Um... Where was it? Where was it? Da, 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 da. Yeah, there you go. Living on the south coast in quite a windy location. My house. Any light breeze becomes a hurricane. Living on the south coast, quite a windy location. First big storm. Lost six out of the eight large and two of the small radios into the garden. Use Loctite thread locker to secure the radius of the unit. Work the treat. <laughs> the radios were secure. The aerial became resonant very loudly in the wind. With constant woo -hoo -hoo noise. <laughs> I down the aerial pole, all bracket, and ended up so loud, particularly at night, that myself and the partner ended up having to sleep wearing earplugs. Poor bastard. And my Scan King pole is literally on the side of my bedroom wall. If I put something like that up and it was making all that noise, the wife would kill me. I'm quite lucky that even in... We've had some quite hard wind around here. Because as I said, any light breeze, because of the geography of where I live, any light breeze gets amplified to a hurricane. And so, yeah, the Scan King's been pretty well behaved. It's not the best antenna in the world, but it's not the worst. It gets the job done. Oh, this guy's fading now. I think the 18 metre band's about to close for the night. Let's have a look at 12 and 10. I don't think anyone's on these. Nah. And a game master. I've never heard of that one either. Let me have a look. Ah, game master. Ah, 25.5 to 30 megahertz. Man, that's a tiny. 
range. Is that a broadcast mask? Do you have a license? Do you, uh, do you broadcast out, Smiggy? Or are you just like me, just a listener? Let's see if anyone's on a CB. Nah, nobody's there. EMR four forty six. That ain't gonna work because I haven't got the scan king plugged in. But let's have a look at 446 on the other SDR. Alright, 446. Oh god, I am tired tonight. Would have got more sleep, but a fucking kitten woke me up this morning being all loving and cute. I can't be mad at her because she is loving and cute. Okay, not at loving and cute at like six, seven o'clock this morning, little bugger. Oh, hello. Is that activity or noise? Noise. 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 Oh, hello. Oh. Noise. 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 I'm in a centimeter band now. What do I HD SDR is like? That's another one. SDR, RTL, SDR recommend. Let's have a look see what this is then. Hmm. Installing new software. Let's see what that shit's like. I've just sold my firstborn child and given my computer a virus, no doubt. There we go. Let me fuck that off. Get rid of that. And finish that. Oh, I remember this one. This is a... What? Okay. What SDR are you using? Because I've got two attached. 
down card. Uh, oh, I think I remember why now. I think. Use this. Oh, Christ. Uh, oh, SDR device. There we go. Uh, uh, right. Okay. XTIO. Oh, bollocks. Now I need to get an XTIO DLL. Is there an XTIO DLL in here? Uh, RTL RV4 EXTIO. Oh, I know where. I've already got the XTIO DLL. Because I had to use it for something else. Where are you? XTIO RTL. There we go. Copy. See? This is why the RTL SDR just, it just requires that little bit more work get it going do you know what i mean if i now paste that in and it isn't hard but it is just faffing now if i open it we'll see hey look we've got an sdr oh ooh, look at that Two games. It's IFADC, it's, you know. Oh, it's the IFADC, they said it was busted. Oh, brilliant! This one warns you of overload. Nice! Oh, I could live with that. Having the tune again out on the main screen would be quite useful. Right, now let's see if anything be about. Right, uh, there. 433 megahertz. That must be... Oh god, this is uh, a wee bit confusing. What am I connected to? What's the bandwidth? Oh Christ. Ah, I think this is why I didn't use this one. Um... FM, USB, ex exalted carrier, selectable sideband mode. What the fuck is that? FM. Does it... Oh, that's just... Okay. There's nothing going on here. Can I move that? Yes, I can. Is there any... Oh, hello, full screen mode. I don't like that. Makes it harder for me to jump between the browser and stuff. Alright, peek. Um, oh god. Oh god, what am I doing? Yeah, the games are at minimum, so I don't know what. I don't know if I like this software or not. Um, it's very complex. Right, let's have a... This must be the band plan. 70 centimeters. Dang it, I was hoping for something which I could just click and have the band open up for me. Uh, 
5505890. That is going to be on this one. I see the Shannon Volmet or it's uh, Military One. Wind zero five zero degrees one zero knots. Cab okay. Temperature eight D point two QNH zero nine nine six low sig. Repeating Frankfurt Metroport. Frankfurt at two 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 zero zero. Automated observation. That's military one, I think. That's military one, so I'd say five five oh five Shannon Bomber. HDSDR actually doing anything. This is why I didn't use HDS, the yes, they are very happy. Fuck, I broke it. Yeah, I'm not even seeing it from the air band. HDSDR is not for me. I think I shall uninstall that. It's not very intuitive at all. It's, I mean, there's a. It, it, don't get me wrong. That top, the uh, the waterfall on that looks good, but it's just not that intuitive. And I know I could get airband working. So far, SDR Sharp has been the better one for. There we go. Right away. Two 
Yeah, that's Shannon now. Is. At least I know the air band's working. Although I do get Radio China up here for some reason. Okay, all the way to the end. That's the pager that's being repeated, isn't it? Hmm. So, Smiggy, do you broadcast then? Because... That, um, Sirio CX440, I oh, know, the game mask, that seems very specific. Like, it only covers, like, 5 megahertz. I'd assume if you were just SDR, then, like I am, you'd have wideband antennas like I've got. How's that filling? Ah. Yeah, look, that's Radio China up in the air band. Next to a pager as well. I don't know why it's doing that, though. It seems weird that Radio China would be all the way up in the air band. I know it's a strong signal, even on the scan pin, but it seems odd. if this filling falls out anymore. Look, even if I minimise the gain, it's there. Hmm. 
island, though. Or direct samplings. I don't know what direct sampling is all about. Oh, you can't turn the game up. He's not actually picking anything up now. No, I don't know what all this direct sampling is. Obviously, I know that's how you used to have to get um, HF, weren't it? Wonder if it's still picking up Radio China up here. It's got rid of it. But it's also got rid of everything else. Yeah, everything else is gone. If I stop that again, put it back to quadrature mode. And there's my airband back again. Hmm. You know what? Let's see if the Ukrainians are trolling the buzzer again tonight. Haven't been on the buzzer in a little while. Ah, no trolling tonight. This has got a high noise floor low tonight. RTTY signals. I wonder if we can get some RTTY out of this. Ooh, look. Clear that out and get some RTTY. I've never decoded any like normal RTTY, like non whether facts or whatever it is.
I think R T T Y. So many different fucking settings for our teeth, you know, it could be bloody anything. That's a weird noise coming in there now. Seven five nine seven, okay. All I'm getting is a remnant of Radio China. Oh, my God, Bob was not there. Que incluso me causó la sensación de visitar la luna y me produjo un estímulo sensorial y emocional. Say, because you're dead, mate. Run out to the airways. To the saints of God scattered abroad throughout all of Asia, throughout all of Europe, throughout all of the United States, to wherever you may be scattered, the Spirit of God is now speaking to you to gather us together in the oneness of God's faith and hope in the coming of Jesus Christ. Whoa. May this message in the midst of your sorrow and struggles oh. and tribulations, yeah. may it bring you home. This is the last generation. This is the last time. Can we have a look at a two meter band on we live? this antenna? There's nothing here either on this antenna. This is the bit that makes the RSP1A worth its money. Oh, 
7165, okay. Nothing for me. Well, you're right in the middle of the uh, shortwave broadcast band at this point. Fuck me, that's a lot of signal. Oh, I know why. See if I can find 7165 now. Nah, uh, nothing. This is quite peaceful to sit and listen to. That's right at Rodeo Romania. Does this freak me out? Because I heard this chiming up in the airband. But what the fuck's broadcasting pirate up the airband? Then I realised it was Radio Romania for some reason on like the 13th or 14th harmonic or something. Sixteen to sixteen seventy. Oh yeah, that's quite low. Give me a second. Oh, might be something. Oh, you hear Radio Romania? Yeah, that's Radio Romania's little call sign. It freaked me the fuck out when I heard that up in the airband. I was like, who the hell's pirate in the airband? That's pretty much one of the bands you do not fucking go anywhere near with a pirate. Ofcom or whoever you, a local regulator, would be fucking all over that. 1611... 1620. Oh, actually, West Antenna is better. Oh, there you go. This one of the Dutch Pirates, you think? Oh, snow's up. Eight nine nine two USA Air Force message in the Royal Navy. Oh, right now, sorry, right now. Eight nine nine two. Okay, let's have a look at that.
Nice. Oh, I could have got more gain on those pirate stations. What I should do, actually, is keep the web SDR up because people chat on that and tell you weird and wonderful signals that are being broadcast. Watch. Let me mute the audio on this. There's a chat box at the bottom there. Look. Try go chat box. Yeah, look. Nice. That a, that's got to be a number station, isn't it? What number what was that? 22. Oh, no. oh. Oh, my God. That looks very much like a number station, then. Good shout on that one, Snows. That was quite cool. Right, let's go back and have a look at these Dutch pirates. On the west antenna, so that's all good. The neighbor one, one, uh, six, one, one. Oh, there you go. Got extra gain on them now. Let me narrow it down a bit more. Holy shit, a difference between east and west antenna. That's the original speaker wire antenna. And that's the west antenna. The new one. These are definitely not medium wave stations, are they? That is medium wave end, 1550, isn't it? Yeah, that's between midnight and one. We're also longing. Yeah, it's the end of the medium wave, isn't it? Uh, is it 1550? Or, or are these just in the medium wave? So these are Dutch pirate frequencies you're telling me about. Yeah, they are, because clearly if it was a broadcast station... It wouldn't be just switching between programming like that, would it? I was watching some of the fighter jets on this um, aircraft radar the other day. 
Some of them have some really cool names. You had one, I think it's a Eurofighter Typhoon, and no word of a sort, no word of a lie, its cool sign was Warlord. <laughs> it was fucking cool. And then you had Chaos, like 1412 or 1413. And then you had, um, who else did you have? And then there was fucking Vandal. Eleven twenty. That's well into the medium wave broadcast band, though. That is, isn't it? At that point. Oh, let me turn the notch off. Oh. <laughs> Nothing on the 11, 11, 20. Nothing on 11, 38. 45. Ah, oh, right. We knock it again then. Yeah, the medium wave band goes up higher, doesn't it? There we go. Fucking filling is hanging out. It's doing nothing. Fucking hell. Yeah. A remix of J Lo for us there. Is that the RM station? On that note, though, I'm going to have to disappear now because uh, wife wants to be coming to bed in a few minutes. I'm going to go brush my teeth and see if the rest of his filler will come out with a power toothbrush. Uh, I can feel some crap stuck to it. I think where it's sort of rotated, it's pulled some stuff out with it. Luckily, it's not hurting too much, that's good. I've said that now, and it's going to be agony now. I've had no endoponderous teeth. I'm just waiting for it. I'm just going to have it pulled. Been offered a root canal, but then the dentist said, No, nah, you want a root canal, and then you want your fucking uh, a proper crown put on it. And I'm like, Oh, I ain't gonna fuck around with that. It's near the back, just pull the damn thing. Turns out I'm a tooth grinder because when I went for my dental checkup, he goes, do you, do you grind your teeth? And I went, I don't know, I think I might. And he went, No, you definitely do. All your teeth are flat, and I'm like, Oh, okay. 
and I said, I think it's uh, since I started some medication that, um, anyway, yeah, that would definitely be the medication. I see it a lot with this type of medication. I was like, oh, okay. And then when I Googled it, when I get home, it was, yeah. So the medication I'm on caused me to grind my teeth and I didn't even know it. Which explains why in the last six months, pretty much all my back teeth have decided they're going to fall apart. So it looks like I've been grinding them. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to disappear because the wife's going to be up in a few minutes. Thanks for coming out and hanging out, uh, Smiggy, Timby, Snowzuck. Uh, I think I've got you all. Oh, Smiggy, out of curiosity, before I go, um, with all those antennas, do you transmit? Have you got a license? Or are you just SDR like me, listening in? Oh, okay, no worries. I was just wondering if you transmitted. It would have been cool to see if you key up and I could hear you. But no worries. Anyway, yeah, catch you guys later and have a good one. Might be on tomorrow night, actually. Hopefully a bit earlier. So, yeah.